Hello and welcome to Mead Week, I'm Brian Spann. Today is June 14th, the Army's 238th birthday and flag day. If you're watching the show before Friday at 6.30, you can join Scout Troop 377 for their annual flag day retirement ceremony at the Fort Meade campground. Worn out flags can be brought to the ceremony. Once again, it starts Friday, June 14th at 6.30 p.m. Meanwhile, on Thursday, Fort Meade took time to observe the Army's 238th birthday. This year's guest speaker was former Sergeant Major of the Army, Kenneth Preston. The Sergeant Major spoke about the importance of professionalism and professional organizations like event sponsor, the Association of the United States Army. Well, the thing is, when you look at the Army, and, and the Army really is, is a organization of different professions. But, but really, is it wearing the uniform a profession? And I said yes. And the reason I said yes is because we have a professional education program out there for not only our officers, our warrant officers, and our non-commissioned officers. And as you serve, you know, it's lifelong education and learning. I said it's also part of um, um, our culture that, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an ethical process. We hold uh, ourselves uh, to a very high standard. In fact, we hold ourselves to a much higher standard than any other profession out there uh, in the country or around the world. Garrison Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein used the occasion to point out that even though it's the Army's birthday, it's still all about Team Me. One constant that we have in our Army is change and the changing environment. Over the years here on the installation, we've had a handful of BRACs and base realignments have brought more service members and families into the community, but you don't have to look very far to see a, still a lot of change happening. And from the new post exchange to a bedroom, a 800 bedroom complex, Army lodging is now uh, privatized. There's going to be a new hotel being built. There's constant change happening. We're also the home to an incredible VA clinic that opened up a couple months ago. It's not just about our Army. Today and tomorrow we celebrate our Army's birthday. But it's not just about our Army. It's about all the services that are represented here. It's about the uh, joint environment. It's about the Department of Defense environment, and it's also about the non-DOD environment that make us so strong as Team E. Here's Army Chief of Staff General Odierno on this year's Army birthday. From the earliest days of the revolution to our most recent conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, our soldiers and civilians exemplify the competence, character, and commitment of the United States Army throughout our nation's history. As we celebrate our 238th birthday, let us remember the nearly 80,000 soldiers deployed and more than 91,000 soldiers forward stationed in almost 150 countries. Let us also remember the millions who have gone before us and made us the best army in the world. We stand on their shoulders as we write the next chapter in our army's history. I'm incredibly proud of your successes and I thank each of you for your service to our nation. To all soldiers past and present, once a soldier, always a soldier. The strength of our nation is our army. The strength of our army is our soldiers. And the strength of our soldiers is our families. That's what makes us Army strong. Happy birthday, United States Army. Earlier in the show, Colonel Ed Rothstein detailed all the changes that are continuing at Fort Meade. We decided to start a regular update of major construction projects going on. Of course, the largest is the new exchange mall that's scheduled to open late 2014 or early 2015. As you can see, the building is starting to take shape as the superstructure goes up. Another exchange project due to be completed this fall is the new shopette located on Mapes Road near the Mapes and Maryland 32 gate. The facility is set to feature 24-hour service with gas and drive through Burger King. The big thing to remember while the construction continues is to remain aware of safety issues. Dump trucks, changing driving patterns, and the construction sites themselves all require extra caution as you navigate through these areas. We close this edition with members of the U.S. Army Field Band's volunteers at Thursday's Army Birthday Celebration. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week. You can see one of the components of the Army Field Band each Thursday at 7 o'clock. It's a free concert, and we really look forward to having you guys come out there. Uh, you know, the Army birthday, very special uh, indeed, and we're going to be continuing that celebration tomorrow night. I was mentioned earlier, uh, we'll be at Camden Yards. Uh, Colonel Rothstein will be throwing out the first pitch along with some distinguished veterans, and I also have the uh, privilege to be able to sing the national anthem. So we're looking forward to seeing you come out for Military Appreciation Day as well. Right now we've got a couple uh, patriotic numbers for you.